Hey guys, Fenty. Right, this is another small items video. What I think personally everybody should have into their bag. It is my opinion, no one else is. I'm not telling people that they should have it. It's just my opinion. This is what I carry in my bag, what's some small some smaller items. So please check it out. Please tell me what you think. And if you've got any small items what you think I should add, please let me know. Thanks very much. See you in a minute. Right then guys, this is the small items, some more, some more smaller, small items, I think personally everybody should have in their bags, as I said this is my opinion, nobody else's, so let's we'll start over here, here guys is some tin foil, I rarely use tin foil, but I do carry some in my bag, this is quite a bit, um, I don't remember how big this piece of tin foil is because it's, as you can see it's been in my bag for some time or I should say bags because I've had multiple bags since I've done this one so yeah some tin foil in my opinion everybody should carry a small sewing kit this is one of my small sewing kits there was two in here but this is one of my sewing kits I do have a larger sewing kit what I will be showing you soon but this one here guys fits and stays in my jacket yes I know it sounds stupid but I do keep a sewing kit in my jacket I do recommend that I know a lot of people are not gonna like I know a lot of people are gonna say something about it if you don't like it tell me why you don't like it but that's what I do here is a oil bottle I've only just got this one in so this one here hasn't got no oil in it yet but I'm not putting oil in this I put methylated spirit in this for my small meth um, lantern I don't know if I've shown this on the channel I don't know if I've shown this yet but I do recommend these they are very good they're quite cheap as well. I will show. I will do a um, budget gear video on this one because it is a budget item. And it is very good to have. So there's that one there. This one here, I got the idea by asking questions. This is a flask, as you can see. It's one. It is a one ounce flask. There's nothing in it at the moment because I don't think there is anyone. It shouldn't be. No, as you can see, there's nothing in it. But what I used to store in here, I used to store my soap. I don't carry my soap in this anymore. I don't carry liquid soap anymore. I carry the. Sh I'm starting to carry the soap sheets again instead of carrying some liquid soap because the soap sheets are better than the liquid stuff. It doesn't go everywhere, and not just that, they don't actually go off because it went off in here. So yeah. Oops. Oops. Oops, sorry about that guys. There is other things you can carry in these. I have one of these in my bag full of beta fluid. If I didn't have this, methylated spirit is in one of these. It used to be in one of these for this. But now I've got this. It's a lot smaller. It's a big it's a bigger, but at the same time it's a lot smaller thing. So yeah, and there's two of them as well, so I'm not worrying about how much fuel I've got. So yeah, you can carry a lot of things in here. As I said, I've got lighter fluid in one. What's in my bag? What lives in the bottom of my rucksack? In the bottom pouch? I will have to show you that soon. But then again, now I've got a new rucksack. It is going to be moving to a different pouch. But I will have to show you that once I get my other rucksack. So yeah, that's another thing I will recommend. Is these small um, hip flasks. You can always put alcohol in them if you want like drinking alcohol if you wanted to so yeah so it's a type to do with you but I use them for other things and so it's just alcohol common sense but many people like to carry these and that's clothes pegs or washing pegs whatever you want to call them I like to carry washing pegs just in case if my just say if my trousers are wet but it's a nice dry day and it's clear and it's dry and it's warm 
I can pull up a little ridge line for my tarpaulin and then I can put my trousers on it on the ridge line on these to dry them out. I like I will be showing you what I'll be doing with my ridge line with my um ridge line as well as my trousers when we go on a camping trip what's coming up soon. So yeah, stick around and hopefully that'll be done soon guys. Yes, I know there's only five here, but there were supposed to be six, but I bought one, so I have to replace it. And I do prefer the wooden ones over the plastic ones. Right, this size is medical stuff. Here I have a wrist support. I do have quite a few of these supports. I don't really show them in my first aid kit, because they don't go in the first aid kit. They just... They go in, it's hard to believe guys, these go in my clothes bag. So, yeah. I do have a few of them, that's the reason why I've got one out now to show you. Because I've got a few. So I have one of them. This is another type of wrist support. But this one here you can use on your ankle as well. What I like. I do like using this one on my ankle. Or sometimes I do like, sometimes I do use it on my knee as well. It depends what I'm feeling like, so. Yeah, it's, it's small, it's compact, and most of all, it actually is nice. Cool. This here, guys, is sports tape. I do carry sports tape in all my kit, in all my first aid kits. I do. This has came out of my home first aid kit box. So, yeah, I do recommend sports tape because it's exactly the same thing as these two, but as you can see, a lot smaller. But the only problem is, this is only a one time use item. You can't use it again after you've used it that once. So that's that one there. Same again, same again guys. This is only a one-time use item. But I do highly recommend this if it's cold environment and you've got a cold. And that is these methyl crystals. They're fantastic. I'll open it up for you so you can have a look inside. That's what they look like. They all, all they all look like is just some crystals. Let's see if I can get some on my hand. There you go. It just looks like a crystal. It's like mix vapor rub, but in crystal form, and a lot smaller, and a lot lighter. There's only five grams here, but there's a lot there, and that would last me a very, very, very long time. And same again, guys. But I like about this one. It is made in the UK. So, yes, that's all extra small items. I think. Personally, people should have in their bag. It's my opinion, as I keep saying, but that's my opinion. So, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. There will be more outdoor videos coming up soon. And we'll see you soon, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.